Hello traders, Lance Ablito here, and I want to make a quick free video on crude oil. So crude oil actually had a trend line breakout. Who would have thought crude, you know, back here at 42, 43, uh, would make the run up to about $50? That's a huge move there in crude oil. So we have a trend line breakout here in crude right around that $50 mark. Uh, prices actually achieved that objective of $50. So I think we trade sideways for a little bit. And why do I think we trade sideways? Well, we had a clean breakout of the trend line on volume. You know, that's a beautiful move. But if we do a Fibonacci extension, we don't have to do this to the T, but just to get a view of it, of the recent swing low, swing high to the most recent swing low, we have right around 49.65, a 100% Fib extension. Usually a little pause for concern. We'll trade sideways. Uh, a little lower sometimes, maybe we'll make a bull flag here. And then, whether it be the next catalyst event, overall market, um, we should break out above 50 on volume and look to this 5220-ish as a price objection. Also, too, what I like about this 5220 uh, is if we actually look at the overhead, you know, think of it as resistance, we have, here we go, some resistance up here too. So I think once we make this price objection of 5220, we kind of just trade sideways um, for a little bit of time. And if we look at the ETF, the XLE, you know, we've had this trend line uh, to the downside and we failed multiple times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And it, what I like about this most recent, and now we're starting to trade above it is, we had a false breakout here. We traded right back down, but we didn't make a lower low. You see here we're making lower lows. We actually held the trend line as support we used it, and we're bouncing to the upside. So a couple of names that I like, or one name that I really like is this name Suncor Energy, SU. Some really big call buyers going out in time as well in this name. Um, because you can look at these individual stocks and they are they're already moving off the lows with bullish charts forming and there's overhead right where they're starting to trade at to so 32 and a half so I, I'm looking at these names to trade basically like crude oil where we trade sideways for a little bit and then as crude breaks above 50 this stock for example at 32 and a half just trades right up to this high this objection of 33.79 where one can take profits and leave the rest on for a runner to the upside. So these names offer, you know, quite the reward um, in trading the energy name. And then one can also look at COP as another one that I like, where, you know, kind of that same trend line breakdown that's failed multiple times. And now we're having a clean breakout here on COP to the upside. So just trying to find individual names with institutional buying bullish charts reversing the trend. These are all things that I like in the energy sector.